there is an episode in this season where a skeleton of a dinosaur is controlled via telekinesis or something like that and it roars the skeleton dinosaur roars i'll leave you to think about that Hello guys and welcome back to Nerdiness 101. Today I will be reviewing The Flash Season 4. So let's get into it starting with the season opener. What did I think of it? Well, I thought the season opener was pretty good. I really liked it. I thought it was a great uh, introduction into this season and um, it was really intriguing. It was really exciting. Um, I love the aspect of Barry coming out of the Speed Force and he doesn't remember anybody and he's just speaking gibberish and he's writing all these weird symbols. Uh, but what really annoyed me about that is that they bring that up later in the season, even in the season finale, and it never goes anywhere. They don't explain it, so I hope that gets explained next season. But because the season opener was so good, you need to bring it downhill, don't you, Flash? Now, the quality of the season, as I just said, it went down quite a bit after that first episode. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It was just, it was just dull and boring, and I didn't like it anymore. It was just bad. There was something about it that felt like nobody had put any real effort into this season, like that first half anyway. Like everybody just sort of went like, "Oh yes, Flash doesn't matter." There, there, there we go. He runs fast. There we go. But like, I don't know. It was just sort of annoying and just plain bad. We also have a new character introduced this season, Ralph Dibney, the elongated man, and I really thought I wasn't going to like him. I thought, you know what, The Flash has gone to goofy places before, but I think this is just too goofy. But then he actually worked as a character. I really liked him. Um, I think he is the most interesting character in this season, and he has a really good arc, which I liked. Halfway through the season, I think, halfway, I don't know, halfway, I don't know, but like, Sometime in the middle of the season, Barry goes to prison, and I thought that was a really interesting thing. And it was one of my favourite parts of this season, if not my favourite part of this season. It was just really, it, it was such an interesting concept, and the execution as well was really good. Although, it doesn't make a lot of sense as to why he didn't just hide DeVoe's body when the police came. But, it, 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 he, he went to prison, and I thought that was a pretty good arc story that they had in there and the episodes where Barry was in prison uh I thought like they were interesting but they were also kind of boring because he's not the Flash he can't go out and fight crime and it's not really that exciting but I thought it was an interesting way to take the season at least I mean the episodes where he does he is in prison those bits where he's in prison are interesting but then you've got like the main plot of the episodes which are just so bad i don't know why it's like they put all the effort into barry in this prison and then it just they just it was so lazy like the stories they just sort of like half-assed it really that's what it felt like so barry gets let out of prison and that's interesting how they manage that like um like ralph can shapeshift and so he shapeshifts into devoe and i thought that was quite interesting but how does he change his voice that's weird. Like, is he just really good at impressions? Oh yeah, I, I haven't talked about DeVoe yet. Let's talk about DeVoe. DeVoe was the villain of the season, and he was quite an interesting villain. I did like that it wasn't just another speedster, because we've had that done three times already, so I thought it was an interesting direction to take it. And he's a good villain. I like him and Marlise, I think his wife's name is. I like them. They're, they were really good this season. I mean, his plan in the season finale is a bit weird, but we'll get onto that later. Now, even though I think this is the worst season of The Flash so far, I mean, if you can tell, it did have my favourite episode of the entire series in, and that was the episode Flash Time. I thought this was such a great episode because it was so intense and so intriguing, and it was just I, it was just a really, really tense episode, and that's the only way I can describe it, and I love it so much, and it's great. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's still great, and I love it. Even though 
it's like Barry is supposed to be smarter than Iris, right? So why does Iris come up with the solution? That was stupid. He just goes to Iris and then he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. But the fact that Barry breaks down and there and he's sweating, the sweat pouring down his face is just him and he's crying and he goes to Iris. It's so intense. I love that episode. From that episode onwards, I think the quality goes up, but only slightly. And I did quite like the rest of the season. But then came the season finale, which is so dull and stupid and boring and so anticlimactic. So DeVoe's got these satellites that he built. Why can't he just control other satellites? I mean, we, we clearly see that he could do that when they take out one of his satellites and then he just, just controls the Star Labs one. Why doesn't he just make his own satellite? It doesn't matter. I was like, okay, season finale, hopefully this will be good. It was just dull. It was so anticlimactic. It didn't feel tense. It was supposed to feel tense. I didn't care. I didn't care anymore. Because I, 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 just, I just didn't care. And the way Ralph comes back, it makes sense. But shouldn't he have the powers of the rest of the bus metas? And then Nora Allen comes in. Like, right at the end of the episode. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was interesting. Although, um, I can't comment on whether that was shocking or not. Because I had this spoiled for me multiple times on Instagram before I watched the episode. I'm interested as to where they take the next season. Hopefully it will be better than this season. Because, overall, I didn't really like this season. It was fine. It was serviceable. It was watchable. But it wasn't great. I I hope it gets better because I really want it to get better because I love the Flash. Even I'm wearing this T-shirt. Got him up there. Look, by Newt Scamander. So where does this rank in my Flash season ranking thing? Well, yeah, this is the worst season of the Flash. Then season three, season two, season one. Thank you guys for watching today's Nerdiness 101 video. Uh, what did you think of The Flash Season 4? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Mate, I'm trying to make a video here. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Live long and prosper.